Well, it's Saturday, August 16th, and Jen is at work. It's like 10 o'clock at night, and we are pretty much ready for the baby to come any day. Here's his little seat in the man van, and I figured I'd take a video and show all of the things we've gotten. I don't know if I can do this one-handed, but the seat comes out, and it has a... Uh, it is a thing that goes around it. Hang on. I have to put the phone in my mouth to do this. Or I'm just gonna put the phone down. Hi phone. Here's the baby carrier. It goes in the seat. And the seat eventually gets a real upright kid seat when he's bigger. But for now, it just gets the little seat. So we actually have two of these little seats now. I'll show you why. Because this one came with the stroller. Let's look. All right. So here's the stroller. Maybe I should move this into the light. If anyone not related to me is watching this, I just got off the phone with my mother who needed to see all the baby stuff that we have procured. So, this snaps right into the stroller. And you put the baby there, and it covers the face up, all kinds of stuff. This is a good stroller, because it has big wheels, so we can take it off-roading and torment the dog and all kinds of stuff. Also, we have the pack and play, which we just got today. And this is a whole thing. So there's a changing pad and it has a little bassinet that pops out and then it's got a high spot in there right now, which you can kind of see, and then eventually you can drop down. This is, you know, for going out and visiting. So you can see the house is becoming full of baby stuff. Rigel, so far, doesn't seem to have a real problem with all of this. So far, he's pretty excited. So how close are we to baby time? There's a bunch more stuff we've yet to go through. We have the bags sitting right here next to the garage. So if we have a, oh crap, labor time, we can go. So we're pretty close. Here's the bottle warmer. Because apparently that's something that you have to have. I don't know. I'm pretty sure kids survive without it. But we have one. Bunch of baby stuff. This is the uh, high chair which straps onto one of our seats. We have a lot of Graco products in this household. There's the turtle. There's a Jillian fish. Where's the big fish? Roger, what do you think about that? Coming in here, Rigel had a whole bunch of balls. Oh, here's the diaper bag. And this is the diaper cake that Stephanie made for Jen's baby shower. And we're not supposed to know this, but there's a bottle of wine at the center. That's pretty clever, and that's, you know, two days worth of diapers. There's the stool, the timeout stool. That's a boppy. This is a little baby seat that can be put all over the place, and it makes Jen's favorite sound, which is... So... That makes a monkey sound, and then it makes Jen's favorite baby sound. You ready, Rigel? You ready? Rawr. Rawr. Jen loves that sound. So anyway, that's there. This is a bumbo. There's a lot of things. There's the boppy, the bumbo, the bjorn. So this is a little squishy baby seat that they sit in and have entertainment. <clears throat> Rigel's pretty overwhelmed. Not that it matters, but this is my office, which is pretty much as out of touch of the baby as you can get. But it's nice because now we have the air conditioner. It's obviously much louder, but it keeps it cooler and it ducts the air out. So it's all pretty good. Can't complain about that. It keeps it nice and cool in here. Since it gets cool in there, we can shut the closet and it makes the whole house quieter. 
All right, Rigel, should we go upstairs and show everyone what's going on up there? All right. You may be able to hear this. All right, let's go. Okay. So first we have our bedroom. You can see we're very clean. This is the bassinet that's been part of Jen's family for something like 48 babies. And so every every baby they go and get custom fabric and re-sew the liner and get custom ribbon. And that's a lander's tradition. So that has been done. Hey Roger, where are you going? Let's go in here. And this is Lucas's room. This is the baby monitor camera, which I'm currently working on hacking away. So let's start by going around the room. We have a tall dresser with two of the pictures Stephanie gave us. And it's all there. I have to do some cord management, but there's his power strip for his little elephant lamp. Anyway, the turtle, when you turn him on, he makes stars pretty great. So that's the turtle. There's the stump with all the animals. Here's the crib, pretty much ready to go. That will have to come out of the crib, of course, before we're done. Here's his name. Here's the chair, we got the ottoman today. This is a quilt that a family friend of Jen's stitched. This is the same fabric that is going in the uh, bassinet. And she framed some, put it on the wall, then I built the frame for it. I was just molding in the frame. Now, let me tell you the story of this. I think it's so funny, because Jen didn't think of this when she bought it. She bought this at Walmart, two of each animal. This is Noah's Ark fabric. Those are dinosaurs. Dinosaurs on Noah's Ark, bought from Walmart. This is Sarah Palin's favorite fabric, and it's on the wall in our baby's room. So anyway, here's the low dresser. So we have some diapers. And then all the ones downstairs, we have some more diapers, we have a lot of diapers. There's all sorts of pulled stuff out of this and suck on this and powder this. Ugh. This has to be mounted on the side. Oh, that sound you just heard is the baby camera noticing that there was a sound in the room. So rather than being awake all the time, it says, hey, we heard something, you should wake up. Here's the changing pad, the trash can. We have to put holes in the walls for the rest of the picture Stephanie made. And the closet has a whole bunch of stuff, including the upright child seat for his car seat. So, and there's toys and kits, and this is the thing to cast his feet and plaster. And mom, you were asking, here's our old ADT alarm system, which does not work. And it's not hooked up because we don't have a phone line, but it is there. So maybe one day. That's pretty much that room. Where'd you go? Oh, there's Rigel wanting to go in his favorite room. So this room over here, it's not really relevant to the baby. However, while we wait for the light to warm up, this is something called the co-sleeper, which one of Jen's coworkers who just had a baby used and liked a lot and wanted to give it to us. So the idea is, this thing has a big hook in it that you hook around your bed and you put it right up against the side of the bed, and the baby can sleep there. And then if you have to wake up in the night to feed him, the baby's right there, an inch away from you. She says this is great for the first month. So we have it here. Jen's going to try it out, I'm sure. We'll see what happens. And this is my towel traction device. You put your head in this thing, and you lay on the ground, and this is elastic and an angle, and it pulls on your neck, and it's the equivalent of... An inversion table except without the blood rushing to your head so dad this will interest you this outlet is GFI this outlet is not so I have to replace that outlet because it's you know too close to water source here's the new shower head because Meg complained about the old shower head and the new light fixture and so babies don't bonk their head against a tub this is whale and um, back there's a frog and frog has this, which we can use to scoop up all our wet toys, and there's toys.
So that's pretty great. And really, you know, makes a lot of sense. You know, because frogs live in wet. So, the loft. What are you doing? Should we look in here? This is our favorite room. The bike now lives in here. Now, I recently made room for one more bottle by moving a couple of bottles that just barely fit to that side. There's no more bottles that will fit there, and I have the bottle that will go there in the fridge right now. So we're done with the big wall, and now we're on to the small wall. So I'm buying a lot of sampler packs. But other than that, this room is really only important because mainly Rigel wants those. Hey, Roger, what is it that you want? We'll play with those later. We're not going to play with them now. This room is pretty much going to have to be child out because I built that thing over there, which, you know, clearly has a carpet hider. It comes here. And what it is, oh, let's look, is this plug box. So it's probably not really good for kids, but. This room will be a supervision only room. This will be blocked off. All right, ma'am, let's go back out. Let's go. See? That's pretty much that. Here's the bean bags, which are mostly used for Rigel to crash into when we're chasing the ball. That's pretty much it. So that's the current state of baby readiness. So one more thing I should mention, you know how I said that the we bought this we got this car seat with the stroller. Jen got a second car seat today. That's the same thing with the same base that snaps into the arm, but instead of this one coming with a stroller, it just came with that car seat base. So now both cars can fit either one of these. So we'll never have an oops, Joe has the car seat in his car situation or something like that. We will always have one around. And you can see, it'll be nice when I can hit a button on the remote and that will open itself. Put the baby in here, whack his head a couple times, and then there. And the best part about this is he has a toy, which you're not supposed to have when driving. This arm has to be down when driving, but when not driving, pretty great. Pretty great. Well, that's pretty much it. So, hope you like it. Oh, I'm all set up and jigged. Start routing the tables for the movie theater, or for the bookshelf in the office. However, I need a second pair of hands and none have been made available to me. However, we're all jigged up and ready to go. I'm just waiting for an assistant. And I added a fifth stack to my wood thing and it's on wheels. But I have to find a way to secure it to the wall because it makes me a little nervous how top heavy it is. For now, I've got my lumber sorted. So that's pretty much it. So bye.